there are situations within which you want to take a look at code. And that's not because you're going to learn to be a programmer. It's not because you're going to take on the role of, you know, the person that's handling anything to do with code with a website. But there are situations within which you want to know, you know, what a site is running on. There are situations within which you're going to want to maybe grab an image out of a site that you can't just right click and save as. There are situations within which you want to look at code. A really great, completely free open source option for doing this is something called Bluefish. And this can be found at bluefish.openoffice.nl. And I'll put a link right there in the description so you can go ahead and get it. Again, it's multi-format, Mac OS X, Windows, Linux, runs on them all, completely free, virus-free, and a great little application for taking a look at code on sites. Now, let's say we want to take a look at the Bluefish website's code, right? We want to take a look at the HTML file. We can simply right-click. We can click on View Page Source. And up will come all the code for the site. Now, this is just fine. You can go through this and you can, you know, grab images and you can take a look at links and stuff like that right here. And most of the time, that's what I advise people to do. If you're looking for an image, you can't right click on it and grab it. You know, you can hunt through the code right here and you'll look for these links and the links will sometimes be images and that's usually where you'll find it. But you can also go ahead and you can bring up this application. This is Bluefish, and this will allow you to take a look through this code here as well. And the syntax highlighting, in other words, the different colors here, can make it much more easy to browse through and easy to find different things. And it's just another application that you should have because you may have to run into, you may run into situations where you're gonna to have to do this. So you can hunt through it this way, and it can be very easy to find, you know, all the different links because the links are here and they're green and they may not show up in your browser because your browser is not a full featured editor like this. Bluefish is again, like I said before, completely free, very useful in unique niche situations where you're going to want to look at code and perhaps do some editing. Uh, again, I'm not saying learn to program, so don't accuse me of that because I know my members and I know you guys, you're gonna say, oh no, this is so complicated. You don't have to use a quarter, an eighth, even a 50th of what this application can do. But if you need to open a file, if somebody sends you an HTML file and says, hey, take a look at this or something like that, you've got the app installed. You know, it's taken up 20 megs of your hard drive space, which is nothing. Um, you know, you have that application at your disposal. You didn't pay anything to have it. It's just a good idea. Anyhow, that's going to conclude this video. If you like this vid and you want to see more quick tips like it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button on this video and hit the bell so that you get a notification when we drop new vids. I'll see you in the next one.